Welcome back, folks, to the back nine of the Oak Grove Farm Flex Tournament that hosted by Rad Disc Golf. We got an awesome feature card again for you guys, including, first of all, let's talk about the commentators. I got beside me, Kyle Moriarty. How you doing, buddy? I'm awesome. Let's keep this party rolling. <laughs> so we have the same five players, Simon Lazat, Mr. Dismania himself, a crush boy, if I've ever seen one, actually a crush dad. Crush Dad Crush now. Daddy. Yep. Uh, you get to listen to me, and now you get to see me watch me play disc golf. Thank you, Disc Golf, Broad Thoughts Based, and Good Sports. FDR Fools Fast Champion. Yeah, what up? We got Shane Wyatt coming in. Mr. Wyatt Works. Congratulations. Gonna call you up when I buy a house. Me too. I'm definitely yeah, gonna right? get some work done from We got him. the young stud, Paulie Kranz, Mr. 17, Mr. Up and Coming, Tourney 54 Champion, possibly soon to be Tourney of the Damn Champion, too. We're calling it now. Yeah. And Finishing off the card, we got Quinton Scott, my buddy, Disc Golf 978, and greatest media teammate, cameraman. Look at those scores. Dan, unfilmed, but killing it. He really is. I had to include him in there, even though he wasn't part of your card. We you have to it. give shout outs, especially for the people that give you're trying to battle. You're looking at his scores on UDIS, so you want to beat him as well. We're just really excited to have you back and everybody, including this guy. Hole 10, 477 feet. Starts off with a bomb. Yeah. So this hole, they were trying to explain there, you should throw an Anheuser, and there's a gap. And Simon said, okay, I'll try to throw an Anheuser, but I'm <laughs> going to throw it really far. And he's perfectly fine where he is. I say, well, I'm going to go the Anheuser, because I said to go Anheuser. <laughs> the true Anheuser route. So I throw a uh, the wise old bra chant destroyer on an Anheuser and a held. And I've got a pretty clean look at the basket. I was just going to ask you, it's a pretty clean clean look from there, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shane go with a smush wraith destroyer. Look at that. My Everybody's man. converting because of you, buddy. I smushed it. <laughs> I smushed it. Wow. He did smush that. <laughs> I don't know why that was extra loud, but we'll have to... Uh... Because we... He deserved that. He was proud. <laughs> I might have left that in there because of uh, the smush alert. Yep. So Q just holding it a little straight. He'll still have something. He can go either Heiser or beforehand, Heiser backhand or Anheuser. And Pauly Kranz going with his DD3 Hawk Lab beauty and, and he overcooks it. Yeah, he, and he's, he's looking to score some birdies because he's a little bit behind all of you guys. You guys are four down. Simon's at seven down. And honestly, the next few holes allow you to unleash and attack, which is yes. pretty awesome. Yeah, it, it rewards the players for really good long drives. Mm -hmm. So if you have an arm, you can definitely make a lot of moves on these holes, which is great. Yeah, I think Paul had a really nice clean up and down from there. Cue ball going up and over, I believe, on the left-hand side. What a beautiful shot. That is oh, better. Yeah. That is trickier the than basket. it looks. Yeah. Yeah, this was the sketchiest basket out there. <laughs> this is the uh, the ninety nine dollar Amazon. I think it's like a Project Adventures. What the name is? More sketchy than seventeen. Yeah. All right, we'll have to take a look at I that. I think so, if I remember. <laughs> yeah, this one is way sketchy because it's just a single <laughs> layer of yeah. super light chain. Uh, so that's where his upshot ended up. Yeah. So he was a little more left than he wanted to, but look, he's gonna clean up his yeah, par. Come on, look at this basket. Yeah. You can barely see the chain from <laughs> wherever they are. Shane's getting his birdie action, and so are you, right? Yeah, that was a birdie three. Nice. You know, this is definitely a hole that could potentially be, if it was like a disc golf pro tour event, it's a it's a good tough par three. Yep. We're, but, you know, being in the local New England and Massachusetts here, it's definitely a par four. It's funny because I'm, I'm creating and designing a course right now, and I'm thinking about that type of golf. Should it be that 450 really yeah. hard for the pro elite, or are we going to try to cater more to the 1,000 rated player around yeah. here? And it's all about what you are designing the course for, who you want to be playing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you could go the main route and say, I want – hard to be super soft and i want everybody to feel good and you know. well and you can adjust too that's i think that people should start doing is adjusting maybe for bigger tournaments making them longer yeah par should be flexible yeah so this next hole 505 and you have all the air in the world and it's to a hanging basket that was a beautiful shot it's still about 45 short i want to say uh, but not that short no no really okay yeah all right look at 
Like, look at how what he had to step over. <laughs> we were talking about the he footing. He was high stepping, yeah. Before with those and weird tree branches sticking yep. out of the ground. And but what's funny was Simon was talking about. This is his first day wearing those like the the feel everything mm. shoes. And he the, felt like, everything. He, I'm sure. he kept talking. He's like, I feel these things so much. <laughs> They're just protruding out of the ground. I feel. Yep. Like. What are you ripping, ripping on here? So that's the Halo Wraith again that I just nosed up and didn't turn it at all because I don't understand how that disc flies yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you, a couple years ago, throw in the Destroyer? Most yeah, likely? so yeah. I'm, you know, I, ever since I got my Smush Wraith and oh, was really right? digging Wraith, so I was like, oh, let me get some Halos because I got more stability. And I'm just, you know, toggling between Destroyers and Wraiths and figuring out what's, what's, what's the best for me. And, you know, they still all go pretty far. Uh, but just learning exactly how hard I can throw them, what angles I can hit them on. Uh, because it's unsanctioned, I get to play around a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, and, and that's the best part about these yeah, events, yeah. that they're unsanctioned, so less pressure. We talked about that. A um, little more kind of running things or just feeling yeah. a little f more frisky than you normally would. And yeah. a mental relief, I think. Yeah, mentally, I, I was definitely not playing this like a real tournament. I was just way more loose and having fun. Yeah, and just enjoying the property and just thinking about disc golf and that is a blast oh my gosh what a smash by paul kranz there with his uh, that's got to be his dd3 i mean look at that form oh, so smooth uh, even simon likes his form yeah. <laughs> check out his latest youtube um i believe he paul kranz was on it with harry chase and myself if it's not out Ooh. check out the description it's a pretty neat episode yeah, when Simon approves your form, you're doing something right. Yeah, and he and he likes his form so much he played with him back to back days. Yeah. <laughs> what do you throw in here, harp? Soft harp, baby. Yeah, you love that thing. Up and down, that's, soft harp. That's the one that's really beat up and looks like a waffle. Yeah, it's the yeah. same depth upside down and right side up. <laughs> of course, that it flight is. plate is just warped, Ooh. and I love it. It is my beautiful ugly child. And that was a good up by cue ball. Yeah. Paul Cran, so he's about 60, 70 oh, short. Oh, he hits one of the branches. Yeah, see, this is, what, 40 short? Yeah, like, it's 45, yeah, 50. Yeah, okay, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a good... On camera, look closer, that's, yeah. that's for sure. But this is a hanging basket, so it's about six feet high. Yeah. Oof. If that was a normal basket, he probably would have made it. <laughs> it would have been, yeah, it would be really close. He definitely wanted it. Definitely wanted it. But Especially he, since he just had an eagle and yep. then a birdie. I mean, he is heating up, folks. Yeah, I mean, look, he's got blue on the scorecard. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> that, folks, is the first blue we have ever seen on GMT wow. Channel. Congratulations. That is an eagle. <laughs> That's why you invited him to play here. You just want to test out the different colors of the scorecard. Exactly. Yeah, we've seen some oranges and we've seen some <laughs> <laughs> blues. <laughs> we got a lot of green. Look, I've got everything is green right hey, now. Hey, I didn't. Shout out to you with the turkey and more. I didn't realize yeah, that, too. I didn't either. I, Good shooting there. I don't know what's going on. I'm just well, playing Well, yeah, you got golf. 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. So, sure. makes sense. Or 8, 9, 10, yep. So, this is your birdie pot. Pretty easy look for birdie. Feeling pretty good about it. And check yeah. out those pants. Where did you get those pants again? Those are prismatic. Prismatic, okay. Yeah. Zach Benson, boy. He's the guy. Check him out. We miss you, Zach Benson. Eight holes. We'll see you in September, right? Yes. All right. Be better. P1X for Simon Lazat here on hole 12, 188 feet. What a beautiful turnover with this putter. Ooh, how close was that? It was definitely, it looked a lot closer from the tee pad than it probably actually was. Ugh. He was definitely behind the basket and ended up in that cluster of trees there. I would love to see the catch cam position, uh, but yeah, you know, you, this is a great angle. You could test see it was right on line but just a little bit deep and speaking of catch cam the only reason we didn't have a catch cam out there today is because i was playing another card the yep. rad card oh the rad highlighting rad eric wilson andrew jong and joe mercieri that's going to be a fun feature that we're going to put put on the channel very soon stay tuned to that 
What are you throwing here? It looks like a little high. Yeah, that's the dad bod firebird, and I just I just didn't have any sort of a touch or feel of what this hole was. <laughs> I didn't know what the distance was. I stepped up and yeah. was like, is it like two fifty? I think it's is a it Praxis what? turnover for you. Or just throw a forehand way wider. Maybe. Yeah. On an appropriate height. And Did the hyzer entice you at all, by the way? No, I never okay. even thought about it. Yeah. Never I had to bleep Shane that. out there a little bit, but I was wondering sorry what that was. About I that. thought your computer was melting nope, down. No, that's just Shane being Shane. Yeah. Thank you for the, the bleep. We don't need <laughs> to offend anybody here. Especially 17 year olds on the card. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a nice. Oh, it looks like he sawed it off a little bit as well. Yeah, the same thing. The like, same shot as you, yeah. It was, it, this There's no win, though, reason, right? There's no win, yeah. but you just couldn't get a good read on it. For, you know, we're all playing it blind, yeah. and it's usually these shorter holes that need a lot of touch. It does. Play the hardest when you're playing blind because you haven't gone through, like, oh, yeah. it's just this. Yeah. Oh, if I hit it at this, I'm fine. Or, like, it's only a 50% this. Or, like, it's oh, funny you say that because it. it took me five days times to play this course to know what shot it was for me yeah. it was a backhand iron samurai well you don't have a forehand so yeah so it's never a forehand for no you. no hell no, no. <laughs> but I, it that. took me a while yep. you know what i mean yeah this basket is also kind of a brick on the outside so like paul's putt would probably catch on some yeah things. that was a good looking this putt. thing denies anything coming on the outside it's a tough one and shane's looking for his birdie as well he's a little 35 something Ooh. Ooh. So you think that would have maybe been in no, on some of the other one, ones? No, that one was no, still okay, wide. Right. But, you know, you're just looking at it and just like, yeah, that thing is solid. Cue ball, putting champ in New Norwich, Connecticut. Left a little short there. Yep, see, that, that's where Simon ended up. So for him to yeah, be right so there, so he was a little long. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, you know, a little deep and just stopped in that little brush. So now we played about four or five holes um, in the open, so mm -hmm. now we're going to trans uh, transition to the wooded holes, including one of the shortest holes you probably ever will play yeah. in your life coming Unless up. Unless it's a tiki course. Yes, but but you know, in terms of a UDIS farm flex. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, tiki courses are really fun. I'm really excited for Tiki 54, by the way. Ooh. That's yeah. coming up soon. And Simon's probably licking his chops here. Oh, he, you know he's a trick shot master. He yeah. wants to ring this thing up. He probably has this length of a putt in his backyard. Yeah, and if you guys don't get a star frame on this, you guys should go home. I actually thought of it as a par frame. I think this <laughs> is probably a, this is a par two yeah, right here. Exactly. This is a par two. Yeah, I agree. You know, if there's any hole, it's under 100 feet. What so, disc is that? So that's a JK Pro AVR. Mm. And I hit the one tree that like you think you blocks had a you. chance. There's your dance again. Yes, yeah, it's <laughs> what I do, man. I'm very energetic. I try to entertain the people. We love it, Wads. Don't ever change. I saw. I thought Shane was doing Ooh. a real run up at first, and then he was doing his step up. I love that that cock back and then pull forward motion because he can do it from any he distance. Does it. Yeah, he it's, does it's it insane. Well. Yeah, I've never That's, seen anybody really do it other than him. That is well. I've seen, Paige Pierce does the walk up. She but, does. Uh, You're right. Paige Shoe. Yeah. Or Paige yeah. But maybe that's where he learned it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, what a good bid with a Sonic. I love that shot. He loves that shot. <laughs> when I think of Q, I just think of him just I ripping know. Sonics. At Dragonfly. <laughs> anyway, yeah. he's just throwing a sign. And he's doing a great job for Rhode Island Disc Golf. I mean, he's growing sports, uh, growing courses, I mean. He's designing courses. Paul with a nice bit with the P1X. Oh, Ooh, I think that tickled the chain. I, I, it's close. I feel like it moved the chain. So there's a lot of pressure having a putt that's outside of 25 feet on yeah. and 85 foot hole again shady basket too and you right. nailed it yeah no problem no worries no. any uh thoughts what are you putting with that one Did, is that so that's the, jk pro avr okay so you're fighting and throwing with them sometimes yeah yeah, yeah I'm very comfortable with those discs now it's, they've been in the bag for a while i tried to go in other places but you know i to go to the place with success and it felt like home and you know, I've really developed the, the feel of confidence in those. Are they a little understable or? No, they're there. They've got some good stability to Do them. They? Okay. You know, you can you can trust throwing them. Yeah. And they're nice and soft and tacky. So I like that feel a lot. There you go. Maybe that'll be your next mold for the bra stamps too. Talking about it. Let's Smush go. 2.0. Ooh, 2.0. Yeah, new stamp coming out. Hashtag it. Different runs, but. Uh, 
Hole 14, the only hole that doesn't have a basket, but it has a tree that has tape wrapped around it. Look at Simon going for the... Oh, 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 oh my goodness. That was literally an inch, I want to say. Yeah. So this is classic. This is how disc golf started, throwing at objects. So this is an homage to before Steady Ed Hedrick created the, the disc golf target and before there were tone poles trying to hit trees. And, man, he just oh missed it. Oh, my gosh. Ace. I wish that went in. I really do. I, I mean, wish I that. wish that hit it. We all wish that counted. <laughs> that would have been uh, on Sports Center, probably. <laughs> I, I don't think so because <laughs> I know. Why, I know. Why is Sports Center? Oh, he hit a tree. <laughs> he hit a tree. That's, that's what I, that's not that's why I was do. laughing about <laughs> it. Like, I think it would be hilarious. What see what their reaction would yeah. be. And trying to follow that up. Like, yeah, oh, I know. And yeah. that was a no. praxis. Yeah, that was yeah. a praxis. Just sawed it off. Didn't quite throw it. I was unsure. I mean, how do you top off like what he just did too? I mean, that, that's just or back it up. Uh, another, another, another hard beat for him. Yep. Sorry about that, folks. Accurate. But it happens. Cue ball. I, if he's not throwing a sonic, I'm not sure what he's throwing other than that. Maybe it's a mid range or oh, that's a that might be the praxis. He, yeah, he's been liking that. You yep. see, you've been converting all these people, that's dude. What I do, man. <laughs> people throwing smushes left and right. People yep. throwing praxises left and le left it, and right. The praxis is the ultimate throwing butter. Yeah, and it works great on so many different lines. And speaking of a great throw and lines, that was a peak yeah. one X, just a little right. So this is where my drive went. Not ideal. And no. that big tree is so in my head about not hitting it on my follow through that I do not throw a good shot. It reminds me of the Blair Witch Project where you were. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was a bad place, and I was definitely being haunted. Yeah, for sure. Shane also feeling a little haunted, but he had, he got up there for the most part. It looks like he's gonna have a clean putt to yeah. the tree. <laughs> to the tree, yeah. Clean approach to hitting a tree. Um, I was playing around with Connor Spillman and the TD and he was saying how he, you know, he was playing this course during the COVID times. He had to change putters for this one hole because he couldn't, <laughs> he, didn't wanna, he, he didn't want to keep hitting the tree with the damn well, that's putter. So funny. <laughs> Shane with a mega jump putt and. Oh, he was out. way further than I thought. Trees, Sorry about that. Trees out left side. He connects with the tree. And there you go. What we mean by maybe having to switch putters. If you do that a hundred yep. times. Q perfect. Yeah. A little slow-mo putt kind of. Yeah, that was a good putt by Cue Ball, right. our boy. So Simon opted out not to take them up the gap, but yep. he went. To, uh, we were supposed to put a Mando here, regardless. Didn't. We didn't. And you can see why, if you don't, it's a pretty easy hyzer. And it's a little dangerous, though, because it, dangerous, it, it goes yeah. to the other tee pad on yeah, 17. You, you definitely 16. play into different holes, fairway, towards their tee pad. But the gap that you have to hit is definitely not super big, so you're still throwing a very controlled shot. But when you're looking at, oh wow, that was he got a little lucky so there. Nice, yeah. Um, you really almost want to turn it to the right if you're going to go up the middle up here. You kind of kind of want to turn it or flick it and gets in the landing zone, so you have a better approach, so you don't get stuck on the left there. Like cue ball here on yep. the left is just jail. Yes. Unfortunately, um, that's not where you want to be. No, and the wind today definitely made it where couldn't throw a roller. I thought about it. For really, a hot you thought second. really? Okay. Yeah, the I ceiling, it. really? Yeah, throw okay. it down, hit it down, and let it roll. So emulating his probably favorite pro, he's probably oh, if Simon's taking that route, I'm gonna take that route too. Well, you know who showed him that route? This guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I walked up to the tee and he goes, I'm not going to throw that one. <laughs> All right, maybe like, you yeah. inspired him. So then I asked if there was a Mando, and then they yeah. said no. So I said, well, let's always, go, boys. Always check the rules and let it go. Nice shot there. What you ripping for the so hyzer? So that's the, uh, the wise old broad destroyer, yep. champion destroyer. Super domey, great glide. Here's Q going. He's uh, just pitching up as best as he can to Did the other landing the woods zone. Or is he in the landing zone? I can't remember, but the landing zone is just past that a little bit. Okay. You can see the clear patch up here on the right. And Shane's taking his destroyer. Full, yeah. Wow. Well, he got far enough. You know, he's been throwing the forehand more and more. And yes. it's been, I've, I've been liking seeing that oh, out of him. Oh, yeah. So he just kind of had nothing, unfortunately. He's still in a tough spot. Yeah, this is what happens when you try to uh, do too much on this hole and you land short. You just yep. yeah. So here's where the hole. land. I mean, that's where you want to be, but you can see 
you're pretty close to 16's tee pad as well. You're yes. not too far from it. So, yeah. great upshot by Paul oh, Cran- Almost beautiful. nails it. This is cue ball's basket, by the way. Really? Yeah. Um, thank you for him lending. And everyone else who put a la- lending hand there. Great up by you. Telling it to sit. Yeah, I would definitely wanted to throw it in if it was a little hot. Simon's rolling up the P1X there. Yeah, he was in. So he his hyzer, he tried getting up to the basket and just didn't quite connect on it and wow. went off to the left. Shane hitting a huge putt there. Good for him. Speaking of connecting, was yeah. that straight enough? That was straight. That, that was, was straight. pretty straight, Shane. Straight. Let's see. Let's see how straight it is. We should get a follow flight flight tracker. No wobble. Probably that like twelve thirty. Yeah. No, <laughs> Something that like that. Good. It was pretty straight. Nice butt there. Running it in. Yep. He loves running it in, I yeah, think, secretly. To... Does he have two wallets in his pockets? He probably does. Why it works, man. Two Why it works. Shake it off. And cue ball looking to get a banger. Oh, I believe he gets a double bogey here. All right, that could have saved a lot of internal hurt. Yeah, but on his own basket, too. That's, that's, he, that's he tough. He puts on it. He knows it. For birdie, Simon... Ooh, Gets making it. it look easy. That's a great putt. I love how smooth and he has a slow putt. Yeah, it's just com- that like kind of nose up and spinny out. Yeah, it's coming it out of goes. his like core though, not yep. necessarily up from the you know height of his, yeah, it's uh, from head. his waist. Yeah. And you're looking to get a birdie, right? Yeah. This, so this is my putt for three. I'm looking at it and. Feeling pretty trying good to read about all it. the stickers on the pole because it's it. highly decorated. <laughs> it is. He has got a bunch of stickers on there. Oh, were you really looking at the stickers? Is that what you were I, looking I was, at? Come on. I just wasn't focused on that That's one. That's all right. It's an unsanctioned event. Yep. It happens. And, you know, we're not playing for hundreds of dollars here. No, we're, we're not. The purse was only about $400. Uh, I, I believe we sent Simon. I shouldn't have said that. But. Well, you sent him some sort of money. Yeah. You don't know what place he finished. <laughs> you know, he's at 13 down right now, and then, you know, Shane's at 8. So anything could happen here. Two holes left. Look at that. Mega Heiser around a pine tree and finishes out by a basket. Big smash by Simon. Probably about 65 short from 50 short from the, uh, the basket. Circle two. Incredible. He, out of his hand, he's like, oh, I put it too wide but it just missed everything it was supposed to miss and ended up coming right back with that <laughs> nice little skip there towards the end we had a nice gallery there watching what was going on so we knew it worked out pretty well come on it's a 475 foot par four so this is you're licking your chops so we're all kind of in that range it was like if we connect we can all get there yeah shane wrote throwing a nice smush wraith shot there He's yep. probably leaving himself 80 short or something like that. Paul Kranz, I believe he takes his PD here, folks. Which no, is... this is a DD. Oh, okay. All right. Because if I I heard PD and I was like, no way. But taking his DD3, you can see he's ripping it real hard, following Simon's line, but a little better. Yeah, Looks cleaner. That, see, he didn't go to the right of that pine, so he flies into the gap instead of where Simon was off to the right. He had to go back to the gap. Absolute smash. Get to watch and he's 17, guys. Look at this. And he probably only weighs 17 pounds. <laughs> Maybe 117. Yeah, okay, I'll give I'm him pretty sure my legs weigh more than him. But absolute smash. And he leaves himself about a 40-footer, 35. Yep. Better Incredible. drive than Simon. Yeah. yeah. You know you're doing something right when you outdrive Simon. The one and only. And when you saw that, you're like, all right, here we go. It's go time. And I cook it, and I cook it a little too much into that tree. Ooh. If I just missed that, that was up there. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. but you know, it's now that was the wraith. That was the uh, wise old bra uh, champ destroyer. Gotcha. And this is the wraith. I know that he loves his wraith. That's a good looking shot. Very similar to yours. Just yeah, just leaked a little bit uh. right. And that is a very thick tree when you hit it, and it doesn't let you really penetrate through. 
Can we talk about how Simon has not really parred anything in a while? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that scorecard expanded uh, and yeah. know exactly how many in it's a row. It's like he has. a few guy. It's, it's a few. Quite a He's few. He's feeling it. But this is the type of course that you can do that. You were yes. saying that earlier because there's a lot of par fours that are probably for the They're very weak you know, fours. Yeah. But yeah. for the normal New England golf, they could They're they good. they could yes. work. Yeah, you're not throwing 430 easily. Oh my gosh. That was the best catch from one of those baskets I've ever the, seen in my life. Yeah, mock X's never catch anything on the outside. Those traveler baskets stink. I mean, watch <laughs> this putt. Like, it's on the left side the entire time. Look at this. It had no business it's going high. in, but I love it. Simon, yeah. you deserve it. Congratulations. And that's why. It's great, too. And that's Good eagle. Oh, another blue one. Good. Another blue another eagle. eagle. <laughs> another eagle. Look at that. And that's what I said to him. I was like, hey, man, There's, that's the best putt I've ever seen catch. That was amazing. Guys. Look at how close Paul is, too. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, so that's where when you hit the intended fairway and don't hide around all those trees, you end up. Simon's like, all right, this is going to be matching my eagle. Come on. What oh, a yeah. what a putt. What an eagle. Cute. Two eagles on a single hole. Yep. You Mega guys right there. absolutely demolished this hole. Averaging probably like <laughs> yeah, two eagles, two point five something, which is pretty amazing for a par four. Yeah, you got a little bit of a tester here. Yeah, there's some meat on this bow, yeah. but especially going to these mock uh, lights. But there you go, connected. Unlike the last one, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, you know, you, you saw all those stickers. That yeah. that was yeah. your, that was your excuse. Keep the stickers out of disc golf, please. Okay. <laughs> And another three there for Shane. Huh? A lot of birdies, wow. guys. Great yeah. hole. A couple eagles. Look at that. That's how, what we, we want to see. Green hole 17. Blue. I love this hole. This is another great hole. You've got so many different options to go. You see Simon doing the thing that only Simon does. A backhand <laughs> hyzer, spike hyzer. He drifts a little bit too to the left. You're going to see Paul take the straight at it kind of stall anhyzer line. And he's throwing a castaplast lots, I believe. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, for 320 feet, it feels Ooh. like 375. Yeah, uphill. it's a little uphill, yeah. but it's not super uphill because it's like this valley. Right. So, you're throwing to a similar distance, but. Shane uh, throwing his wraith here, I think. Sidewinder. Sidewinder. Because turn. Okay. He yeah. was not expecting he to was, turn. No. He is stuck in a very awful place. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't want to be there hear his reaction here so i'm doing the opposite of what simon did i'd like the forehand, here. forehand i like it what do you what this so is this it? is the synapse from thought space their overstable distance driver and it's just hammer hard wow that's high that's it's good high. though it's powered now when you say powered oh my gosh that was a great shot how much power 100 percent. that yeah that's a full send forehand for me wow on Pretty much trying to hit it flat so it can kind of flex a little bit in the air. Where if it's thrown out on that spike angle on like a hyzer, it's going to cut your distance down. Cue ball really liked what you were doing, so he's going to follow suit. Yep. He also threw a synapse. Yeah. He's been liking all the discs that you throw, buddy. Big boss base guy. <laughs> They're onto something. Yeah. And onto something is also Dismania because they make some great discs. Ooh. Simon giving it a bid with his P2. Yeah, you can see he definitely. He was saying he threw the wrong disc. He threw something that was a little more too glidey and didn't spike as much as he wanted. <laughs> so Shane's stuck in this mess. Yeah. I, <laughs> he is. Uh, you can barely see him. There he is. There hey, he buddy. is. How you doing, Shane? Welcome back to coverage. Why it working? <laughs> yeah. And that was an amazing out. Like, it was. People don't understand can, how thick that is. You can barely see him. And to get to a point where he's within 20 Ooh. of the basket, like, congratulations, that that might be one of the best shots he's thrown. Not, I'm not yeah, taking away agreed. every other shot that he's thrown this round, but you know he's sneaky uh, on a heater too. Minus nine right yeah, now. Nine so, down. Yeah. Oof. You're eight down, and Paul Cranes is seven down. Yep. Here's your birdie. Oh. Ooh. Did you know how sketch this basket was, or you just didn't care? You were just I, like, I'm hitting. I knew it, yeah. but you listen. You know, putting at a basket, you do everything that you can in your own power. So if you make your putt, you throw it at the right speed, the right tempo, you hit the right height, you try to hit the pole. Right. If you do that, 
you've hit the putt in your mind right. and you you need to keep that in your head whereas especially a certain distance it's, it should feel like yep. a free throw that's what i've always thought of it yep. like you just you just trust your form trust what you're doing and then if the basket accepts it great if not yeah. understand that that's the basket's fault not yeah. your own right you had a you had your same stroke that you normally do yeah and good cleanups for both of these guys simon and paul that's his first par in a while oh, folks yeah, i think it is. was since Somebody check his temperature. He um, must be sick. I want to say whole five or whole six he's been birdie yeah. since. That's pretty amazing. The, uh, this is it, folks. Hole 18. Uh, getting, giving everybody daps. Thank you again to the cameramen, Connor Spillman and Zach Pepin for doing that. Uh, you guys killed it. Here's you. What are you throwing here? So that's a VIP anvil. Trying to flex it a little bit more than I did. I had a great reaction from that little bush thingamajig, whatever the thing is. This is a tough, oddly weirdly shaped S hole. Yeah, super strange. Simon wants to force There's nothing something. there, folks. I'm telling you, there's nothing there. There's, yeah, there's <laughs> not a lot. It's really, you have one shot to throw. It's a flex forehand, right? The flex forehand yeah. is about the only way to get to the basket. You can throw an amazing touch backhand. That's what I do, just to get at a certain spot. To, yeah, that's it. Now we can hear, yeah. See, like you know, there there's so much touch involved on that backhand. We're gonna see Paul try to finish off, put on his forehand clinic of touch today. Midnight Prowl too, I think. MD five. Mm, maybe. Yep. He, I know he throws both. Yep. That was a good rip there, though. If he just was a little more left, that was in. Yeah. Or see, right up he, there. He didn't get that push out like I did. Nope. I pushed out to the side of the fairway where he kind of stayed into that bush and here's someone who's you know i thought he was gonna throw a rock to be fair backhand rock but he's opting out for the forehand because you're right it's the only line because of this look at that that's a good shot that's a great shot. yeah very well done <laughs> yeah see and he knows he's you, that's something to celebrate when you hit that shot you push the ceiling you hit the angle right and it just misses yeah. he's still not by the basket he still has a little bit of work to do, but a very but well man, executed was, shot. Yeah, you know the best out of the bunch when you're throwing better drives than Simon is doing, and you know Shane is not the most competent in forehand at <laughs> times, and he's really been doing a lot of work. So good for you, buddy. Quinton's more confident in the forehand. Just saws it off a little left there. Yep. He's leaving himself a little short, but now finishing see, off with a pretty easy par. Yeah. Hopefully here, so you can see the basket tucking deep down in the right behind the rocks. They call so we it, couldn't see the basket. They call it the Taj Mahal baskets because yeah. they're a little different. Obviously, they're not the normal baskets. Yeah, they're a little but... shaped up, shaped up like the uh, the Taj Mahal. Love it. Again, asking if this is fair, <laughs> Simon. I love the courteousness. Yep. And oh. he leaves in a spot where I actually land to get the, the backhand shot. That's really? that's where I try to land exactly. Yep. Yep. And what are you throwing here? So that's a JK Pro AVR, just trying to spin it out, hit the angle. No. Oh my goodness, dude. What a finish. Are you kidding me? I've been waiting for that putt for Ew. this entire time. And now, is that yoga? Is it strength? Is it core? What? Like, I, how can you be so flexible? So I stretch every day with my students, every class. So I every class that I run, I do five classes a day. I do stretching every day with them. So I stretch a lot every well, day so smooth and it, it shows in how the positions i can attain and how i can find stability in these positions as well <laughs> shane said he's not going to talk you up anymore because that was so good dude yeah that was well done that's a highlight that's a 90 throw. footer right yeah. oh yeah highlight oh my throw gosh. for sure One well we'll be putting that on instagram don't you worry oh about yeah it. make sure you tag prismatic gear in that as well because we those pants are highlight in there they really were. They were popping right there. Paul leaving himself a little short after that eagle bid. He's probably like, whatever. <laughs> Shane, ugh. He's been hot yeah. all day, but he just misses his birdie opportunity. Paul trying to get his par here. Oh, also Paul. leaving it short. That's all right. You've played a heck of a match there, Paul. Yep. You did your best. Six you down. You do better. You can, and you will be doing better. Simon, finishing off with the par. 15 down, folks. 15 down on 18 holes. Who does that? 
That is that's only uh, Simon. Really. That's special. That's special. I mean, right that's there. not an easy course. What you just watched. No, he made it look easy. He made it look too easy. But you know, he executed everywhere he had to. So he he got how many eagles? Two eagles. Two eagles. So that's that helps. But still, he, I mean, course record by four five strokes dan livolette though how about him 11 down shout out to him if this was rated i think simon would have shot 1070 yep dan would have shot around 10 30 or something like that and we would have probably shot around your rating 10 10 you know something 10 11 you know so no easy task a great time here watts thank you so much for tuning in um i had a, a great time rad disc golf thank you so much for putting this together and everyone else that was involved. Here are your scores for the top 10. Joe Mercieri, Connor Spillman finishing off the top 10. I'm in there with the eighth position. And then we have Paul Kranz and then you guys up on the top there. Shout out to the Ams, Anthony Stewart. And we got an ace, our boy Kenny from the Daisy community. Gotta put that in there. So sick. On the hole that you were like, I have to throw this five times, yep. Yep. (laughs) Kenny, great for you, yep. And Anthony Stewart taking the win. And then Kyle Caderisi, Calderiso taking the rec division with a minus two. Very solid oh, for the rec great. division. That's a great shoot. And then shout out to Brittany Ber- Berquist also for winning the, the rec, uh, ladies division. We can't forget about there them. And there they are. The men are rad. The raddiscgolf.com men, uh, uh, the designers, the business owners. And then we have Greg Dowell and Spillman. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. We hope you enjoy the coverage. We'll be putting a highlights video of of Simon's round very shortly. And thanks for watching, guys. 